Join us. Support us. Join us. Support us. Just because the media is masses, we have dragged in law, we have brutal police action, and we have uh, the judiciary uh, working at the behest of the political leaders. Join us. Good morning guys so it's a sunday morning and i'm heading out and about i just woke up like 20 minutes ago i still got like bed hair going on and i've got my coffee with me and um i'm just gonna head out to show you guys kind of like a cool piece of history that i have out near my house i live out near the arboga area and i figured i'd show you guys where this uh really cool marker is that's for the old Japanese detention center out there um, it was used as a temporary holding area for uh, the Japanese citizens during wartime so um, I don't know I don't even think there's anything left out there but a marker but it'll give me a chance to tell you guys about the history so I woke up this morning Sunday morning and I just said okay well we'll just take a quick drive and we'll just show everybody where it's at. basically the reason why this was even brought up today is because over at the Yuba Art Center they're showing a display of all the faces of the people who stayed in the detention camp. When you can humanize a situation and actually put faces to history and it suddenly becomes not just you know an incident it becomes a human experience so detention centers and concentration camps and things of the sort we don't think of it as an American problem we think of it as a problem that happens elsewhere but the fact is these things did happen on American soil people were detained that were literally only being detained because of the color of their skin it happened and you know we can we can either choose not to talk about it or we can keep talking about these things that way they're not mistakes that we make in the future so I don't want to make this like a political post of course but it is what it is um, it is definitely a part of Yuba Sutter history south on Feather River Boulevard which is um, in West Linda according to websites this place is six miles south of Marysville so if you take Feather River Boulevard on out all the way to Broadway we will run into it. So this is the Marysville Migrant Labor campsite which was also a American Japanese relocation center in 1942 as you guys know at one time uh, the Japanese were of course being watched very closely because of Pearl Harbor which happened in December of 1941 so this was during wartime they decided that they were going to gather up all the Japanese people even if they were born in America and send them to this labor camp so we're gonna go ahead and drive down there we can see we're on Feather River Boulevard at Broadway and it's pretty busy hopefully you guys can hear me I know it's windy but we're gonna go ahead and take a drive down there so here's the area out here looks pretty blank and empty on both sides of the road 
quarter mile in would be right around this area. All right, guys, so I finally used my Google Maps to find the correct area. Um, according to this website, I'll just read it straight um, to you guys. <clears throat> I use their directions. It says today the assembly center site lies south of Broadway, which is exactly where I'm sitting right now. This is Broadway. One quarter mile east of Feather River Boulevard, which is right there. Northwest of the Lake Gulf and count it says county, but I know it's country club. The area is now privately owned farm fields and residences and there is no historical marker at the site which is completely true there is nothing but couches out here it's become like a dump site and a little grove of like eucalyptus and palm trees so that tells me that something was there at some time the assembly center site itself lies on two properties with two separate owners um the other section is north of that it says most of the assembly center site is encompassed in the northern parcel along broadway on that property there is a single house and associated sheds which you can see there's a pump but no houses there's one way down there but i don't think that's even close maybe it's that house right there none of which appear to be from the World War II era. There is also a silted over 25 by 30 foot slab of uncertain age and some scattered pipe and concrete and that field area and exposed pipes and concrete rubble along the bank of Clark Slough, which I'm thinking is that right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is some kind of slough that runs through the middle of this. So the 1942 aerial photograph indicates that barracks and other buildings were also located on that second parcel, which is located here south of Broadway. According to that property owner, old water pipes were dug up when he recently built his house in 1996, which I believe is that property over there. Also on this southern property, there were small trash scatters like, likely related to the assembly center. These included small areas adjacent to the slough with about 250 small fragments of white and buff hotel ware ceramics. Some of which had US QMC base markings noting that they were probably army issued in the dry slough bank just west of the ceramics were also noted 30 sanitary seal cans, a rubber boot sole, and over 20 amber and clear glass fragments, a few white glass fragments as well. Additional trash may be buried and the area may have been the assembly center dump at one point in time. From everything I read before this was actually a Japanese detention center, it was actually a, a, a camp for migrating workers during the depression era, so they would have called this home. It was used to house people that were coming in for work from the Dust Bowls and different places throughout the, the U.S. that were coming here to look for work. But anyways, this section has a ton of history. It's gorgeous out here. There's really nothing to see. But if you go to Broadway and Feather River Boulevard, you can at least see the marker and come in just a little ways, just past the first groups of houses, and you guys can at least see a piece of our history even if nothing's here it's kind of nice just to sit out here and look around it's gorgeous out here all right guys that's it